Our planet is home to 30 million plants and animals, each with a unique story of survival, each committed to a lifelong search for food, for shelter, and for companionship. A cool mist fills the valley, marking the end of another autumn day. But for these three males, things have just commenced. It's the fifth day of the week, therefore, it's boys' night. An electronic chime startles a member of the pack, a signal that someone is attempting to communicate with him. But this is not an ordinary someone. By the expression on his face, the two companions know it's someone special. Meanwhile, that lady friend and her two companions are having girls' night. The edges of her mouth move upward and blood fills her cheeks. The two friends take notice and instinctively swarm towards the device, with extreme curiosity and disregard for privacy. Her desire for a partner comes at no surprise. It's quite common this time of year because it's the season of holidays, also known as cuffing season. It's a time for ceremonious reunions, which also serves to remind people of how lonely they actually are. Cold winter nights coupled with prolonged indoor activity sparks the desperate need for the warmth of a partner. Gatherings consisting of holiday hymns and beverages made from animal lactate and fermented grass provide the perfect ingredients for a spark. A celebratory exchange of fist bumps, flailing arms and high shrieks signify the approval of the new union. Except for Susie Lee, who has had a secret admiration for the male and now has lost all hope. The festivities continue into the night. Little do they know, as the winter days get shorter and their love grows deeper, this can only lead to one thing. They are making the transition from dating to hibernating. Like hibernation, hibernating is when a member of the pact finds a new mate. They become so exclusive that they forget all their other friends. They practically disappear. The two friends grow more concerned as they begin to experience the first signs of hibernation. Their comrade hasn't responded to their last two texts, and neither of them have seen him in four weeks. Their pocket computers reveal that he isn't responding because he's at a football game. A game the boys were planning on watching together. The females face similar challenges on their side. Girls' night has been reduced to a party of two. The two friends unexpectedly run into the couple at dinner and they suddenly realise that girls' night has been replaced with date night. The pack tries to readjust to a normal way of life, but it proves to be much easier said than done. He was always the tip master. She was always needed for the best coupon deals. The couple prepares for the dead of winter by prepping their den and stocking up their queue with TV shows for extensive binging. Meanwhile, the rest of the pack is left out in the cold. The friends have weathered many days of neglect together, but none compares to the most dreadful day of the season, Valentine's Day. With hunger and thirst at the highest levels, the friends begin to scavenge for their own partners. The friends approach and get rejected left and right. Desperation is truly at its peak. For the couple, however, love is at its peak. Their relationship has been going well, but where is it going next? Things are getting serious. Maybe too serious?
As the weather warms, the two realise that they have less need for one another. With day clubs back open and spring break trips right around the corner, the couple's commitment to each other begins to waver. The sun rises on a new day. Flowers begin to bloom. Birds return home after a long migration. And the mammals emerge from their dens, weak and disoriented. They have broken up. The male wanders the streets and wonders where it all went wrong. The female questions if she'll ever find the one. Will she forever be alone? But not all hope is lost for the weak. For on the horizon, he sees his loyal friends approaching. It's like they were never gone. Good friends are always there for one another. They're faithful, supportive, and ready to do it all over again. Especially Susie Lee, who after weathering a brutal winter, is now back in the game. What's up guys? We all know we have those friends that as soon as they get into a relationship, they disappear. Yeah, so you should send this video to those friends and let them know that you miss them. Yeah. Thanks so much to Skype for partnering with us on this video. We've been wanting to make this uh, video ever since actually like early this year yeah. when we like talked about hybrid dating on our second channel. Lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> so we finally did it. And you might have noticed in the short that we have some new winter merch. We have some sweaters and some beanies and they are still available if you want to check it out at our store. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you guys have a great holiday. We'll see you guys in the new year. Later.